Andrew Nation Burkhardt, we made it. Today's the big day, September 5th, 2020. Crazy to think that when you were five years old, you knew you wanted to marry me. I was too shy to admit it, but I always had the biggest crush on you. I kind of still have a crush on you. <laughs> Julia Lynn, when I was a kid, my dad would repeat the same Bible verse to me over and over and over again, Ecclesiastes 9.10. Whatever they had find it to do, do it with all the, thy might as unto the Lord. I vow to love you with all my might so that I may glorify God. That is what this is all about. You and I coming together to become one before God. Well, look at us. Here we are today. We are finally getting married. First and foremost, I love you. I promise to love you through sickness and health, through our highest highs and our lowest lows. I promise to respect you as the leader of our household. I promise to be your best friend and your biggest fan. I promise to love the Lord and grow in our spiritual relationship together as husband and wife and individually on our own. I will strive with all of my might to follow his example and give you the love you so deserve. In all of this, I vow to always provide for you. I vow to always support you. I vow to always be there for you. Most importantly, I vow to love you forever and always with all my might, your fiance. I am so blessed that God has given me the honor of being your wife. Aside from the wonderful gift of salvation, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Our future is bright, Andrew. The Lord has so much in store for us. Let us start this new chapter of life together. I'm excited for our new adventure. I love you, Andrew Burkhart. 9-5-2020, the day we say I do. On behalf of Andrew and Julia, I welcome you to their wedding celebration. We're gathered together here in the sight of God to join together Andrew and Julia in holy matrimony. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Julia, thank you so much for Andrew, and for these two families just forming together, and for joining them when they were much younger, creating that friendship and that bond that just blossomed into this relationship, Lord. I pray that today, that it ultimately brings glory to you, and in your name, amen. Amen. This was your grandmother, I want to tear up, Evelyn Lang, my mother, your grandmother, great grandmother. Great grandmother. And this was her engagement ring that she wore on her wedding day. And we would like for you to wear it. We thank you, Lord, for Andrew, for what you designed him and what you promised to do through him. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this group, Lord God. And Lord, thank you for the promise that the best is yet to come. In your sweet name we pray. Amen. 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 Marriage was instituted by God and signifies unto us the mystical union between Christ and his church. Andrew and Julia have determined before God with solid righteous counsel to be joined together to begin their family. Andrew, will you take Julia to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together according to God's commandments in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you prefer her, forsake all others? Keep yourself for her alone, so long as you both shall live. I will. Julia, will you take Andrew to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together according to God's commandments in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you prefer him, forsake all others, keep yourself for him alone, so long as you both shall live. I will. Well, that moment has come. <laughs> and now, by the authority vested in me by the state of Maryland, and more importantly, the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. What God has joined together, let not man divide. At this time, I need you to make as much noise as you can because appearing for the first time as husband and wife, I am proud to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. 
Andrew Burkhardt. Welcome. Thank you for, uh, for coming here. My wife and I are so happy that all of you are here. I think Andrew and Julia are even more happy. This is a picture of Andrew and Julia when we were on vacation together. And the Bible says when you uh, find a wife, you found a good thing. Andrew found her out on the beach. And the funny thing about this is, Andrew said to uh, Kendall, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. You know, as, as a dad, I've prayed since the day that she was born that God would provide a strong man, a godly man, a, a tender-hearted man, and uh, he's, he's answered my prayers. I mean, he has answered my prayers in, in Andrew Burkhardt. I am so blessed to be a part of this day and in such a unique position where um, I'm able to be, I've seen them grow up together, I've seen them form this unbreakable childhood friendship that has now turned into a promise today to love each other until they breathe their last breath. I'm Johnny Lidekine and nice to meet you guys. I am Andrew's assistant to the best man. I want to say near freshman year of college, me and Andrew kind of reconnected again and we became best friends around that time. Back then, I was seen, as Ryan Cox likes to say, the devil, D-E-B-B-I-L. And I lived up to that reputation. I was not a great influence on Andrew, I'll tell you that. We kind of did a lot of stupid stuff. Andrew started to not like me actually at one point. He actually said we weren't gonna be friends anymore because I was going in a bad path. And I said, okay, fair enough. Lo and behold, I went back to Andrew and he brought me to a church but Andrew reconnected me with my faith. I said to Andrew, I said, why did you stick by me? When everybody said, don't hang out with him, he's not a good friend, and Andrew said, I don't know. You know what the answer to that is? Is God put it on Andrew's heart to be my friend during that time and transform my life. Andrew helped me become the man I am today. Andrew is a great guy. Let's raise a glass to the hardest worker I know, to the best friend I could ask for, to my brother. Congratulations to Andrew and Julia Burkhart. I'm so thankful to be a part of your family. Thank you.